Brought to you by Durkee's famous spices, sauces, and gravy mixes. And olives. Durkee's, the largest importer in the world of fancy Spanish green olives. Ask for and insist on Durkee's, world's finest. Voted number one in Packerland. Now, here's your hostess, Jamel. Good afternoon. Glad you could join us today for Durkee's Backyard Barbecue. And on today's program, Spice King Jim Ford is going to turn sports authority and give you a secret weapon on how those Packers can beat the Bears, Detroit, or any other football team. Plus, he has a special secret dessert for you also. So stay right where you are. We'll be right back after this word from Durkee's voted number one in Packerland. Here's Spice King Jim Ford with another letter from Durkee's Mailbag. We have a letter here from the Durkee Fan Club at Sheboygan. Dick Landwehr, president. Dick writes, you had a story once on your Durkee's Backyard Barbecue program about a spice the Polish people love in their soups. You also gave it a Polish name. Dick, the spice is whole owl spice, not ground whole. And the Polish name is kubaba, and that's great in your pea soup. Add about three, four berries before cooking, Dick. This is what we're talking about. Here's Spice King Jim Ford with another letter from Durkee's Mailbag. Here's a question that I've been expecting for many years from Durkee Backyard Barbecue fans. Annie, the hostess at Little Monaco Motel, Monaco writes, who originated the chef's hat? Annie, in the Middle Ages, cooks from Greece, found her way in the monasteries in Europe. The monks wore tall, dark hats, so the Greek cooks decided to wear tall white so they could tell the difference. Annie, by the way, says hello to all her customers. We have Spice King Jim Ford here, and he's a dessert king again. And I see you have two special surprises for us. Can you tell us what they are, Jim? Well, this is a surprise that was given to me this morning, and what a surprise. That's for me, the coconut chews, and we can run a, a tight shot on this. Looks delicious. And then the other one was a surprise, was the turtle squares for me made a special recipe. That's Look. great, though, for picnics and your backyard barbecue for dessert and nibbles and everything. Almost looks like a Heath bar with all the chocolate on the top. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's a wonderful recipe. Maybe you want to repeat it. And these people out there, the thousands of you people out there, don't attempt to write it down. We're going to send the recipe to you. So, uh, Jamal, why don't you just hurriedly go through it? You don't have to mention about the teaspoons or anything like that. Okay. On the coconut chews, on the bottom layer, we have butter, sugar, and flour. You mix that up and put it in a pan. And then you bake that 12 to 15 minutes. On the second layer, you have two eggs, brown sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, vanilla, chopped nuts, coconut, and you mix this all. And after you take the hot crust out, you pour this right over the hot crust. On the top is an orange lemon icing, which sounds delicious, and it has powdered sugar, orange juice, lemon juice, and butter on it. And you spread that over uh, the warm squares. And oh. now we have the turtle squares. I'll hold a tight shot, and as uh, Jamel reads the recipe, Maybe the viewers would like to see what it looks like as you talk. Okay, first thing to do on this one, you line a 9 by 13 pan with whole grain crackers and sprinkle it with cinnamon. And then you melt two sticks of butter and brown sugar and chopped nuts, and you boil this over uh, for three minutes, and you spread over the crackers. On the very top, we have Hershey's milk chocolate with a teaspoon of oil, and boy, does that sound great. Now, this, you said, would be great for an outdoor barbecue or yeah, around picnics, the house. Yeah, and picnics. I don't think it lasts long with many kids around. We should take a look once more. Maybe they want to see what this looks like. This okay. is the coconut chews. Okay, it has How's several this? different layers, three different layers with the icing, the inside layer, and the bottom crust. And now, can I ask you also, um, you had a special secret weapon on how those Packers can win? Well, you know, Jamel here uh, several weeks ago on our program, I mentioned very briefly on that, and some, some of the thousand of you viewers uh, may have missed it or maybe recognized, but here's what it is. You know, in medieval times, Jamel, if anybody would have parsley and they would talk to it, or as the wording, they would use mutter to it, to some enemy, some misfortune they want them to happen, they would talk to this parsley and they would say, uh, well, their next door neighbor, they hope the crop doesn't do so well, or, or if their cattle escapes, or, or they lose the cattle, but now, uh, the uh, weapon I want, you know, in other words, if all the Packers for some football game, like your Bear game or Detroit game, they all would talk to Parsi, like for breakfast in the morning. You know how they always put Parsi on the plate? Mm -hmm. Of everybody, all the fans and all the ball players, and Coach Starr has to do it. They all got to do that once. And they talk to that Parsi. They'll say, beat the Bears, beat the Bears. And that's a medieval 
old proverb, and it worked, they claim, and I know a ball player a couple years ago had heard me talk about this, and he claims that when he got up to bat, he had some parsley in his pocket. Now, this was a major league ball player that watched our program in Milwaukee. Now, he tells me, he said, I hope I get a hit, and he got a hit. I can't mention the man's name, but he watches our program every time they come into Milwaukee. He's a major league ball player. Now, you said the fans should do this also, right? they got to do it 100%. Okay, we'll be back with more spice tips and secret weapons right after this word from Durkee's voted number one in Packerland. Here's Spice King Jim Ford with another letter from Durkee's Mailbag. Here's a letter from Pete, president of Durkee's fan club, the Rhinelander Pub Cafe. Relatives of mine snapped a picture of you while you were at the Athens Greek Hilton Hotel talking to a group of grocers. What kind of spice were you holding in your hand? Pete, it was a can of time, and I was greeting these American grocers by telling them 2,000 years ago, it was a compliment to tell somebody they smell of time. The Greeks thought a lot of time. Here's Sports Authority Jim Ford with Durkee's Meal Bag. Here's a letter from the Durkee Packer Fan Club at Pulaski, Orville Kubiak, president. Your story about the Chinese player who sneezed every time he tackled a Packer was hilarious. Now we hear you have a further story about Sneeze Achu. Here's a story. Achu, Dayton halfback, sneezed around the Packer ends seven times. It says that right here. You wouldn't want any part of anybody that sneezed in your face, would you, Orville? The Packer backs want no part of Sneeze Achu. Ice tips right to Spice King Jim Ford, Durkee's Mailbag, WBAY-TV, 115 South Jefferson, Green Bay, Wisconsin, 54301. That's Spice King Jim Ford, Durkee's Mailbag, WBAY-TV, 115 South Jefferson, Green Bay, Wisconsin, 54301. And if any of you have written for recipes from last year, there was a misconception and a breakdown in communication so if you like trying to write in again for recipes since the problem's been solved it will be the recipes will be coming to you in the near future and Jim getting back to our secret weapon mm -hmm. are there any other um, things that we can do with parsley well there's only one thing that we'll get back about that parsley that secret weapon you gotta remember Bart Starr and his coaching staff they gotta talk to parsley that morning too Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of times for breakfast you see a piece of parsley on the plate and nobody eats it, rarely. And the ball players and all the fans, you and I, we got to say, beat the Bears, beat Detroit. Now uh, here's a can right here of parsley. If you want to take a tight shot of it, here's what you do, see? Yeah, real close shot there, the parsley. And that uh, should be part of our agenda for that day, huh? That's on the other night before, see, beat the Bears, beat Detroit. According to Medieval Times, uh, it worked. Do you have to throw it over the left shoulder or the right shoulder or anything? No, no, nope. none of that. Of course, they were not talking about the Bears and Detroit or the other ball clubs. They were talking about their neighbors. Oh, or I their see. enemy, as they said. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are there any other uses we can use for parsley? Well, Jamel, you know, I often refer to parsley as nature's own vitamin pill because it's got everything. It's got all the vitamins, A, B, C, D, you know, the rest of them, vitamin E. And it's great iron, niacin, riboflavin, and they're great for vitamin E. In fact, there was uh, an author by the name of uh, uh, Rub Rubelish, and he used to uh, write some, as he called them, body books on sex. And in there, he used to say, eat a lot of parsley, because there's a lot of vitamin E, and vitamin E is great for sex. Now, that, I'm just telling you about this book. Now, I didn't buy the book, it was sent to me. There was a headline that showed an underline for parsley. But you know, Jamel, Many times I've gone out to eat, and so have you, and they'll have the parsley on the plate, and nobody eats it, and all the vitamins it's got, it's great though. For, for instance, now, if you had some food, there's a lot of garlic in it. It's a, quite a mouth sweetener, and I don't care what kind of a food that you eat, but if you take that uh, parsley and eat it, it's better than mints. Maybe, uh, can I ask, does it uh, help your breath any? I've heard that it does uh, kill bad breath. That's what I was saying. Oh, I mean, all right. Yeah, you've got to be listening here now. <laughs> No, that's right, though. You eat that parsley, that'll kill any odor you got. Like I was saying, if you eat garlic... That's why it helps in sex. Sure, you get back there and you get your girlfriend and she won't even know you had any garlic. The sales I in parsley... I mean, your boyfriend. Oh. Or, or, no, your husband. <laughs> the sales in, in parsley should really go up, don't you think? That's right. <laughs> you know, in the, in the olden days of parsley, they, like the Romans there, uh, they would uh, use it uh, for in track events and Olympics and all that. They would uh, crown their athletes who won the 
the, the dashes or the running events. Of course, along with Bailey's or Laurelies, but the Greeks, though, they use it to chew on, and, and also for their breath, and, and also they would chew it with lettuce. They'd mix it together and chew it. Oh, my goodness. Can we go right into the mailbag, Jim? I see you have quite a few names here. Yes, uh, of course, we talked about the, the viewers that have patience because some of the fans last year got their uh, recipes and some didn't. Here's a letter here from Lilani Mariotti, K.I. Sawyer Air Base, Ken, and D. Strong from Edgar, Wisconsin. And they said, we'll see you uh, in uh, Maui for that talk with United Foods. Some other names, Butch... Uh, Stargan, Butch Stargan from Chaseburg, Wisconsin, wherever that is. Butch Starch, I take that back, from Chaseburg, Wisconsin. Charlie Wolf, who lives in North Prospect of Milwaukee, he says, go, go Packers, and go, go Durkee, and he says, say hello to everybody in Green Bay. Some other names are Joe and Shirley Imoni of Ironwood, Michigan, Matt Ross, he's assistant in Monaco, Bozakis, and Mike uh, Hansen, they also say hello to everybody. They're enjoying the program. And Al and Jack uh, Cryer, they live near the airport uh, in Milwaukee, and they want to send a Badger Freight Lines, and they want to say hello to Joe and Al Cryer of the Western Lima Smith of uh, Green Bay, Greg uh, Dietzen of Detson, Dietzen, D I E T Z E N, he's with the Rome Bus Company in Appleton. He wants to say hello to Joyce DeWeese, the teacher at Shockton Junior High. And here's a friend of yours, Debbie Hiller of Madison, says hello to you, and Debbie. Killer and her husband John, they also want to say hello to Don and Kathy Dinglehart of Annie Go. Some other names are Tom uh, Holwitz of the Little White Birch Resort. That's uh, Lake uh, Monaco, beautiful Monaco Lake. Rick uh, Jewett wants to say hello. He's a Wisconsin student, wants to say hello to his parents at the Rosenberg Liquor Company in Madison. Okay, can we wrap up, Jim, and review the recipe maybe for the coconut chews? And that was on the bottom layer was butter, powdered sugar, and flour. And you press that in the bottom and bake it from 12 to 15 minutes. And the uh, middle layer is two eggs and brown sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, vanilla, chopped nuts, coconut. And you mix this and put it over the hot layer of crust and bake it 20 minutes longer. On the very top is an orange lemon icing with powdered sugar, orange juice, lemon juice, and butter. And also the turtle squares were our good chocolatey dessert, which it looks like the <laughs> it looks like it might have melted. Um, we have two sticks of butter and brown sugar and chopped nuts and three minutes. Oh, there we go. I think they'll taste Starting better melted. <laughs> Whole grain crackers and you sprinkle with cinnamon on the very top. Of course, as you can see, is Hershey milk chocolate with a tablespoon of oil. You know, we got a last-minute message from Francis Kidorsky of Stevens Point, and, and they say they enjoy the program. Some other names is Mrs. Lincoln Dickey at uh, Baraboo, and she says it's a great program you got. Some other names are uh, Mrs. Milton Herlash at Green Bay, Mrs. Vernon uh, Chompers also at Green Bay, Mrs. Clarence Mathia, Matthew of Berlin, Wisconsin, Mrs. Robert Wetton of uh, Dollar Bay, Wisconsin, Lorraine Rose of Marshfield, Wisconsin, Adeline Smith of Milwaukee, and also a name, Mrs. Ed uh, Selinski from Green Bay, Mrs. Harriet Sah Saharnik of Milwaukee, Mrs. John uh, Sherney of Kellnersville, also Mrs. Kim Olson of Milwaukee. Thank you for joining in today, and we hope that Secret Weapon works for you. Bye. This has been Dirty's Backyard Barbecue with your hostess, Jamel, and Spice and Olive King, Jim Ford. Brought to you by Durkee's famous spices, sauces, and gravy mixes, and olives. TV, Channel 12, Rhinelander, Wisconsin.